The world is changing so fast. We need more engineers to solve problems faster. Women engineers have a different perspective. And isn't a different perspective a form of innovation? Engineering girls have a different type of energy. And that is their advantage to innovate faster. You've heard of kinetic energy, potential energy. Engineering girls have a creative energy when sparked leads to innovation. At 18 months, Charlotte plays with Legos. By age six, her sister Megan realizes she doesn't have the same experience playing with Lego spaceships, Lego vehicles, Lego cities, compared to the boys in her first grade class. Time for her engineering aunt to step in with Legos targeted at boys and a new toy, Goldie Blocks. When Debbie Sterling was looking to purchase toys for her friend's children, there wasn't much of a selection to support her engineering passion. She designed and developed Goldie Blocks, a construction toy and book series targeted for girls. With Goldie, you read, you read about a problem, look to a solution, have fun, make some mistakes and changes, and then come up with an ideal design. Now, with Goldie's help, Megan can help Charlotte design toys, a parade float, for their toy friends. Goldie Blocks is changing the attitude that the new action adventure girl toy can be an engineer. Anybody recognize this iconic team? They're the Girls of Steel first robotics team from Pittsburgh. These girls are changing the community's attitudes about science, technology, engineering, and math, those core STEM subjects that are important for today's technological literacy. These girls have shown that wearing safety glasses is the new chic fashion statement, and their threads are made up of bold, different, and determined characteristics. Let's take a look at these three successful women. Jordan is a civil engineering student at Penn State. She traveled with her Engineers Without Borders chapter to the Dominican Republic to develop a water supply system, but first involved members of that community. Maria first learned engineering and machining from her father and then applies them as a biomedical researcher at Marquette University in robotics and neuromotor controls to make it easier and safer for stroke patients. And Dr. Emily Reichardt, she wanted to do more in science, engineering, and business. So she became CEO of Greentown Labs. She uses her creative energy to help 46 green technology companies. In business, innovators do. Shinri and Christina first met in an engineering design class. They were given a problem, came up with a solution, tested it, found a market, formed a company, and last month launched a Kickstarter campaign that was very successful. We need to support more doers like these women entrepreneurs, Shinri and Christina. These changes are happening all over the world. Sherry Lassiter is the director of Fab Foundation. She is responsible for over 340 Fab Labs and Fab Academies. In a Fab Lab, something magical is happening as little girls learn to make things, design things, create things. Little girls from learning in Cleveland Fab Lab how to print their first rapid prototype and shout, I want to be a designer, to teenage girls in Nairobi that design, build, and test robots, to women in Pabal, India, that are given an opportunity to start their own businesses using the technology in the Fab Lab. I could go on and on about the stories of engineering girls and engineering women, the stories that I've written about and met these women, 
That's this year. Last year was a different story. Sal Diamond, a leading U.S. engineering educator, called me out on my support for engineering women. Sal and I met at the largest 3D design conference in the world, 6,000 attendees, less than 5% were women. Sal said to me, Marie, where are the women? And later at the first robotics summit, inventor Dean Kamen said to me, what you've done is great, but you have to do more. I've spent my entire engineering career being an advocate of engineering education, but I just wasn't doing enough to support engineering girls and engineering women. The world is changing so fast. Being part of this innovation advantage perspective is not something you do because you should. It's something you do to be successful in your own field, in your own business. It's to support your sister, your daughter, your friend, your employee in their attitude about science and engineering. And it's to solve the problems facing you every day in a world that is changing faster than ever. Thank you.